Hello, my name is Torian and we are here in Chongqing, China. I just came from line three, exit one in Wanda Palace. I want to show you a little bit of the city, but I also want to show you our brand new center here in Nanping District. Let's go. When I was looking for a city here, I was looking for a city that would make me feel like I was immersed in the Chinese experience. And I think that Chongqing is a perfect place for it, specifically because there aren't many Westerners here. And sometimes I do miss home, but I also like the experience of trying local Chinese food, things I never would have experienced back home. And I think that Chongqing is a perfect place for that. The thing about Nanping that I like is it's a, a mix of both city and more suburban. It's not very loud and lively like other districts but you do get that experience of things are actually moving so many taxis coming people on motor pads the city is always moving and I do like that about Nanping so we just opened a new center here in City Mall our center is on the third floor here in the Nanping district <laughs> hello, hello. This is our front desk. This is the first space that you see when you come into the center. Parents can come here and get help. People can come in when they're ready for demos. Uh, but I want to show you all the other cool stuff in our center. This is the Bookworm Library. There are so many books here. Actually, quite a few books I have taught in class. I like Hooray for Fish, which is one of my favorites. The kids love this book. It's a really cool book. The kids love it. This is actually where kids sit and hang out with their parents, show their parents their English skills, which I think is a really cool part of the First Leap curriculum. As the kids are coming to class, they are also collecting stars. And with these stars, they can buy cool toys like a plush leap. You can also buy these cool book bags that you can keep all of your books, toys, all of your supplies uh, for the classrooms. It's pretty neat. <laughs> So the cool thing about the classroom is we also have storage units for the students. Uh, we have these little cool cubbies where they can put their backpacks in and start class. So every classroom has a computer in the room and with the computer what I can do is I can pull out my lessons for the day and I can put them on the smart boards. Kids can interact with the smart board and I can give them stars as well. This is the wall of our Chinese staff. They are great, amazing people. I personally think that they are the reason that our center runs so smoothly and they are just beautiful people. I mean, look at them, look at them, look at them. This is just one of the hallways in our center. Each classroom is labeled with a letter and we have so many, class, so many classrooms in our center and so many plants for fresh air. On this cork board, when we finally get settled in here, we will have pictures of students, those who have won awards, just pictures to show all the activities that are happening in our center. This is our office. Along this wall is where the foreign teachers will prep for their classes. Unfortunately, we don't have our desktops yet, so we bring our own laptops. This is Victoria, say hello, Victoria. Hello. This is Amelia. This is where the magic happens. This is where we keep all of our course packages for our lessons. So what we do is we pick what we need and take them to our lessons. They are flashcards, any craft that we need, we just take it for our class according to the course code. At this table is usually where most of our Chinese teachers will sit, so they will also prep for their classes just like we do. This is Emma, say hello Emma. Hello. Yeah, so hello. what Emma will do is she'll just sit and she will prep for her class and Make sure her lesson is great. So we are still in the process of organizing all of our materials, but this is going to be our wall for keeping all of our crafts and supplies for our classrooms. So we have markers, tapes, clay, a lot of things. So this is going to be our wall where we keep everything to make sure that our entire office is organized and neat. Okay, so now that work's done, I usually like to grab a bite to eat after work. I really like this dumpling place. It's about one yuan per dumpling. They have this really nice crispy bottom. I really like it. It's really good, so I'm gonna order me some. So we use Alipay or WeChat Pay to scan. So it's about five you went per. I bought five, so that's how much I will pay. And 
Oh, it's done. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Bye bye. It's really hot. <laughs> It's really good. I usually like to get spicy. So what I'll tell them is I'll say la, and la means spicy. I think it's so good. It's also really hot. <laughs> Here in Chongqing, there are so many things that you can do. You can hike a mountain. We are built inside and around mountains, so that is super cool. But it's also pretty hot here. There are so many things that you can do. Uh, you can get in the cable car. You can see the city lines because we aren't a flat city. I love that about Chongqing. I also love the food, spicy food specifically. We have hot pot. We have xiao kao. I love that about Chongqing. The gym. <laughs> So the microphone is here, so you have to talk this way, okay? Uh, okay, so are you sure? Because it's like right there. No, the thing <laughs> She's supposed to be like, well, um, so I think that, well, I think. Three, two, one, come to, come, come come to, to Chanchi. Chanchi. <laughs>